Hello everybody, welcome back to Motor A the Argonian, the Stealth Archer, uh, the Stealth Archer playthrough. Uh, we don't fast travel, we don't really pause the episode a lot. Um, I haven't played on this account in a very long time. There's no music, it's just us. And the journey. And, uh, oh, whatever mods... Uh, I'm, I've, I've got my, my normal mod list from the 100% uh, Orc playthrough. Uh, and it's not letting me actually toggle the hide. Look at that. It's just turning off immediately. So, we need to go all the way back to Nazir, I'm assuming. But this character, I think we were just doing the, um... Dark Brotherhood quests. And that's it. I don't remember what equipment they've got. Who they even really are. But... Uh, why are we, why are we even here? In the first place? Who did we just kill? Hearn and Lurbuck. Why are we here? So we want to go south. Wow, Skyrim is huge. Yeah, we want to head straight south. So yeah. I don't really talk a lot on this playthrough. So I hope you're alright with that. Um, I checked, hey troll, there's a troll there. I checked this already, um, because we started this playthrough, uh, ages and ages ago. I didn't have the current mods set up that I do now. Um, so stuff like archery it looks a bit fucked. But I think I'll buy these. 10% chance of dealing crit damage. And this. Hmm. Do I have the... What happened? What happened just then? Wait. He did detect me, yeah? <laughs> I'm running out of arrows. That's fun, though. Aim for headshots. Two of my like nine arrows back. How many arrows do I have? I don't even know what equipment I have. I don't have a lot of arrows at all. Some fallen stuff. That was cool though. That was fun. So yeah, we don't fast travel as this character. We walk everywhere. So when I crouched, I became invisible. Ransacked catacomb. What is this? Is this new? Wait. Yeah, that has to be new. What is this? One of the places from the mod. Nice. So, if you don't know my um, modded setup, um, oh yeah, that's interesting. Actually, what do I call this? Because this isn't the modded playthrough, but it has the mods from my 100% modded playthrough. Basically, there's a mod that introduces a lot of little hideouts scattered throughout Skyrim. And I'm assuming this is one of them. So yeah, we can actually rest up a little bit. Ooh, excuse me. I try and keep these episodes, um... Normally I do a lot of cutting in and out. Um, and I'm not pausing and playing the recording, typically, to get from place to place. But... I like this, I like keeping this on camera to show you that like I am doing it legitimately and I'm not fast traveling. I think at, at some points I have um, turned off the camera in other places, but I am a man of my word. I don't like fast travel, really. If it was up to me I would use it every time 
I'm doing a playthrough, but I don't want the episodes to be, you know, the playthroughs to be 3,000 episodes long, you know, that's why I don't, typically. Yeah, we have to go up here. I could have probably gone that way. Excuse me. But obviously, if I didn't fast travel, if I fast traveled, um, oh yeah, if I didn't fast travel on those 100% playthroughs, we would spend way more time in the videos. And it wouldn't really be worth it. So maybe I should have my own playthrough for myself. So I don't really have that. I'm not touching these. I'm not really going to kill these trolls. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Does that mean we're gonna see Esteban? <laughs> oh no. When we come up the top of this hill, if we look down there, I believe, we should see a giant cow. <laughs> it's a room with a view, huh? <laughs> if you're not watching the what did all play through? This is Esteban. Everybody say hi. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pretend that Mota A, the Argonian, is running around Working for the Dark Brotherhood. I'm gonna assume that he's doing that or in my Orc playthrough in Lawrence the Orc. I think that'd be really cool. That's why all of the sky shards I'm gonna leave. And um I hear one now. I'm gonna leave all the sky shards and stuff and um not go into the house. It's gonna be like He's like that he is leaving them alone, you know? I think that's a fun idea. And I just never bump into him when I do the Dark Brotherhood quest because he's out doing contracts. I think that's a fun law thing to do, yeah. So I'll do that. So I'm using a dagger. I do have a sword. If I'm using dagger in hand-to-hand -hand combat, how difficult is that going to be? Let's hope we run into like a cyber cat or something. through the mountain, what's the best way? Oh, it's an incline, look at that. I'd say we head west a bit more. Or maybe we just go straight over. I don't remember this. Wait, what? I don't remember there ever being a clearing here. What the fuck? That's crazy. 
How is that a thing? That's really mental to me. So we're in... We're not in the reach, are we? No, we're in full... No, we're above Lake Illinolta. We're still in White Run Hall, I believe. There's Lake Illinolta. The cutoff is is here. So this is still White Run Hall. Vacation is where the head is. That is what Dravenin told us about our master. He's cozy. The master has gone, but watch it! So the moment we find this fucking woman, and we don't have the Weatherjack, you useless Take bitch. <laughs> fucking bitch. Our character is not a good person. Remember that. She's just visible enough. <laughs> Beautiful bastard. I don't know if I should take the time to talk about myself again. Um, I don't know what I talked about. I don't know what was happening when I was recording last time for this series. I might have been at my last job. It was a really long, a long time ago, this character. I think I can check, actually, can't I? The ninth. That's the last save. So it's been over a year. The ninth of August, September. So I had had the medical issues. They just started after the surgery. Six months after that. Because I had the surgery in April, the fourth month. And this was on the tenth. So this was as the problems were starting, and I'm getting out of them mostly. So interesting. So it has been over a year since I've touched this character. I guess I've mentioned it in the 100% playthrough, which in the videos that have just came out, so there's probably not much point mentioning things in my life at the moment. I should probably leave it for the big playthroughs. I guess I'll mark it down, just to have it be the life update. Um, but yeah. Since last year, since when you saw me last, oh that's cute, look at that. Since when this playthrough saw me last, um, my medical issues got way, way worse. I met up with some international friends. I um, had a bunch of medical exams done to me. I got a new job. I got hit by a motorbike. Um, The new job on the motorbike thing was literally this entire week, by the way. Wow. That's pretty. So pretty. 
Jesus, this is such a cool thing. Just this graveyard. Adorned. That's creative. That's beautiful. Another sky shard. And this character kills mud cramps. Spriggins. game can do that. Oh, that's so unfair that the game can just do that too. See someone run past just now. Resume these belong to you? No, I didn't see anyone. Well, if you do, grab him and yell. Bastard stole from me. Good day. Sorry what to you do you either. Wizard? wizard, he called me. That was me role playing. I just remembered that that's a thing. On my main 100% characters, I don't like role playing as, as a bad guy. But this character, he's crafty. One sec. Never should have come here. The computer is making a bunch of yes. noise. Why are you following me? <laughs> I love a challenge. My computer is making a ton of noise. Funnily enough, it's so strange. I'm going to try resetting the game. I'll be back. Okay, I've not heard it be that active for a long, long time on Skyrim. Can't just be because of the character. It's not like this when I'm in Falkreath on my 100% playthrough. So I don't know why it's making the noise that it's making. I'll see if it does it again. Because this, I think this was happening last time. Maybe it is something to do with this character. What is this? How am I finding these on this character but not on the other one? Wow. That's sick. This is so creative. So I've just climbed into this big old tree. So these, excuse me, 
Are just little hideaways. Cabbage stew. Boots with the fur. A whole club looking at her. She hit the floor. She got concussion. Yeah, it's calm down now. Is that a mud crab? Sir? Why is there a dead mud crab here? That's a new convention. I can't tell if it's her or not. Where'd she go? Huh? What could I just interact with? Huh? What could I just interact with? It said I could interact with something. Oh. Okay, never mind. Maybe she was friendly. At least I got my arrow back. It's like I'm playing a hunting game. Hmm. I heard the dogs. <laughs> I don't remember where it is, yeah. I don't think I've been in Falk Reef much with the mods available. Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrood. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads. Hmm? Need something? Mm. Watch yourself out there. It's really interesting. Her voice actress did a great job of, like, giving Astrid this precautious, anxious tone. Her confidence and, and confident demeanor gets diminished. Shadow scales are all but forgotten. Ancient. 
ancient tradition from another time. Brother. Brother, you need more from my current contract? Just remember Astrid's commitment to her sanctuary, to her family. A family that now counts you as one of its own. Honor Astrid above all others. Stay safe. Bad advice. Hello. You reek of death, my friend. Uh. I salute you. No one is dead. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire, and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Cheers. Lubuk stood as well. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one, as far as I'm concerned. Excuse me. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. Fuck all that singing and shit. Will there ever come a time Any more when the people of... Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. Sure. Maybe I can upgrade some stuff. Nope. <laughs> Maybe I can upgrade some stuff. Need something. Nope. <laughs> So what's my armor? Poison resistance, silent movement, 20% extra damage, double damage backstab. One point of increased <laughs> magic. That's cute. This guy doesn't have much. So we're going to volume route. My team. So I was all the way up here. Why was I up there? I don't know. I came all the way down. I came all the way back up. Let's follow the road. When do we get shut on me? We've already slept with the night, mother. What tower is this? Truth Watchtower. Hmm. I don't remember that being there. It's it's so interesting because I don't know what I don't remember what's modded and what's not. It's an interesting blur. Oh, 
This place? Oh yeah, this was the buggy area. We'll avoid this. I'm sure I've jumping over that before. This is why I wanted to stick to the roads. Till we get shot on here, of course. The prison. Oh. May as well discover it, I mean. I'm stuck. A cloud looks like a dragon. I should really go that way, shouldn't I? Yeah. Unless I can climb up this mountain, it might be a bit arduous, but I'll give it a try. Kinda. Yeah. I hope we found a way up. This content. I say we leave it alone. Brittle shin. Something just a twenty three thousand damage. What is that two three six five four? Probably a mammoth on a wolf. A giant on a wolf. That's pretty metal just kicking a fucking dog. Just <laughs> fuck off. The bow shadows, right? What's happening? Is that a skill that I have? I'm so confused. Hmm.
Not really. Mm -hmm. Go there in the end. I don't know what that. Um, what's going on with that? That skill or whatever it is. I don't know where those arrows went, but it uh, doesn't really matter that much what arrows we use, the amount of damage that they do. And negligible. So Motha is understandably very confused at the sudden appearance of that house there and this giant cow. But uh he rolls with it. He understands that there are some powers beyond his control. And that maybe he shouldn't question it. But he's curious, so he's going to investigate. Mate, we're on the same fucking side. I don't think I can pass this intimidation joke. I don't have time for this. Don't you walk away from me! Mercy! Myself a new dagger. That's, that's not the voice that I heard. Who was here? There was a voice that wasn't an Argonian. <laughs> so we can do world, right? Oh well. That's why I don't do wield. It's just less effective. I still think that Skyrim's worst combat mechanic, the fact that you can just be one-shotted by 
random enemies. For no preventable reason. Just, oh, you have 60% health? We're about to literally kill you. Very stupid mechanic to me. Maybe some people enjoy that. Not me. I think it's fucking worthless. He got replaced. I don't even get to have my revenge. Is someone there? Over here. Why? 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 I've never seen Fulmore become instantly hostile. You are dog. I am Boof! The old were dog fuckers. Hedic Volana? What? Oh fuck. What? I'm doing this. Fuck that. We're here for one reason, one reason only. The almighty divines. You've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It, it worked. And then I'm with the Hotel Cruise most here. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say. The work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in well. Centuries. Come on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of. Made us more than four. Business is business. Oh, wonderful. You don't know how happy I am to hear you say that. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. It's as if the very stars are finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these to your uh, superior. Rexus, the items. <laughs> The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. I have vowed to the serve amulet is quite my dear until my you dying breath. You can use it to pay for any Best and all expenses. Is there something else you need? We require signal. Now, why do this? Why have the Emperor assassinated? In the year 3 E41, Emperor Pelagius Septic was murdered in the Temple of the One in the Imperial City cut down by a dark brotherhood assassin. His killing ushered in, shall we say, a necessary change in imperial policy. There are those now who wish for a similar change. I am sorry, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. We require significant conversation. Can you pay that price? <laughs> oh, my furtive friend. 
When Emperor Titus Mead II lies dead, there will be gold, a fortune in gold, but so much more. It is said that the Dark Brotherhood in recent years has been in decline, that you lack the power, wealth, and respect of days past. Is it not so? If you do this, if you kill the Emperor, oh, how the masses will fear and respect you. Hmm. Okay, bye. You must deliver those items to your superior. And I get out of this place. Get out of this place at once. Oh my god, we walk all the way up here. Let's come all the way back. <laughs> I'm reading the letter. Because we're a sneaky boy, we read that message without opening it. So, I will walk the track. If anything happens, I'll keep it in camera. But I am going to pause the episode and then play when we get back there. Because you've seen us walk there already this episode. Found a little path up. I should be able to get up here. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. God, imagine just... Imagine being here. Like right now. It's maybe like 10 degrees. The sun is on your skin. You're just sitting on this rock. Looking out over the lake. And then the sun hides behind the clouds. And a breeze freezes you in place. And you immediately start moving. Knowing that night time is coming. Trying to get somewhere safe before it does. I have never, ever seen that animation or heard that noise in Skyrim.
Sorry, Astrid. You're back. Good. All right, so, did you meet this Motier? What did he want? Motier wants us to kill the Emperor. You're joking. What's this? The letter explains it all. The amulets were expensive. By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septum, and that was 200 years ago. Surely then our mother wouldn't wish to wreck this. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. But what we now have before us... So we'll accept the contract? <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. Mm. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Radway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. Right. Brother? Represent us well, brother. Who is dark? Look at that. Can barely see anything. <laughs> so we're going to rift it. We'll take a carriage if we can. A different game. Heard about you and your honeyed words. Don't think you can barter with me like I'm one of those damned shopkeepers. Sky show. Oh, 
What the hell? I came down quick though. Get out of the rain and go. That was intense. What have we done, Pine Watch? Where would we have? We've done by much. Okay. Well, I think that's where we'll end it for today. Fun. I'm excited to play this again. I've missed this character. Yeah, we'll leave it here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.